Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm excited to test out a brand new mousetrap design invented by a YouTube viewer named Matt. I love it when YouTube viewers create new mousetraps and send me the prototype to test out. This looks like it's gonna work really well. It's basically a walk the plank style trap, only it's contained. Thank you so much to Matt for sending me this. I'm also very thankful to Matt because he not only sent me a mousetrap, but when he heard my family was in a terrible car accident, he sent me a book he wrote to read to my children. It's called The Bee with the Backward Stripes. My kids really like the pictures of the bees inside, and my oldest son, who's in first grade, reads this for his homework. Thanks again, Matt, for the gift of the book and the mousetrap. Now, the Ploppinator is designed to fit on a five-gallon bucket. I made a few modifications to the bucket to fit the trap, and I can't wait to test it out. I have my clear five-gallon bucket here, and the Ploppinator fits right on top. Now, you are going to need a ramp. I made a ramp here. The idea is the mouse will come up, walk through the tunnel, step on this, and it drops down. If you turn it this way, you can see where you put the bait. It looks like a pretty solid pathway as they go down, but then they get dunked. Now to keep them from jumping out, he made a clear top with some Velcro. Snaps on. Cool feature, we'll be able to see the mice coming down. Now I'm gonna test this out with our pet mice, so I put some soft bedding down there. And I also thought maybe the mice will come around the rim. If we're trying to catch wild mice, they'll just jump right out, unless you put water and drown them. But well, I'm gonna try to make this a live catch trap, so what we're gonna do is add a lid. Here's the lid I made. It has a perfect opening for the ploppinator. I put some screws on bottom to fit inside the bucket. That way it won't come off. Then we put the ploppinator in the hole. Perfect. Mice can climb all around here, but they can only get the bait through the tunnel. Now we have the ramp. Put some screws to hold it in place. The Ploppinator is capable of catching as many mice as will go inside. Now I have quite a few pet mice to help me test out my traps. So we'll get 10 or 15 of the wild mice I tamed that are originally caught with the bowl of oil mouse trap. We'll set up the Ploppinator and see how many go inside. And don't worry, they have a soft landing with that padding down there. Here we go. These last two mice are just light enough it's not working. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments, then we're gonna go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see if it works with every wild mouse or if some of them are too light. But overall, we had really good success.
Last night, I set up the Ploppinator mouse trap in the barn, and when I went to go check it this morning, the trap was laying on the ground, and there were two mice in the bottom of the bucket. I had no idea what happened, and I was really eager to check the motion camera footage. Now for the first mouse, the motion cameras didn't turn on. The sensors are kind of slow, so a mouse ran up, dropped down in the bucket, and even though I had five cameras, they didn't turn on. But shortly after, we caught two mice, a double. They were both sitting on the plank. Clearly, it's not sensitive enough but a rat came along, scared them, and they dropped down. Now, if things kept going the way they were, we might have caught a rat and more mice. But before we could, an opossum came and wanted the peanut butter on the trap. It tore the poppinator off the bucket and started licking the peanut butter. Now, usually opossums play dead, but this time the mice were playing dead. They didn't move. There was a big animal with lots of teeth just a few inches away outside the bucket, and they hunkered down. Now, when the opossum left, they tried to jump out. The two mice down here can't jump very high. But the third mouse took a big jump, grabbed the edge of the wood, and climbed out. Now clearly I want to test out this trap again. I'm going to make modifications. I'm going to adjust the sensitivity on the plank and attach it to the wood. So tonight we might even catch a rat, more mice, and probably will be invaded by a possum. But before we do, we're going to let the mice go. You can see them down there. They're pretty cute. Let's go set them free and fix the ploppinator. Okay little guys, watch out for the opossum. Now the first adjustment I need to make is to cut back the tape measure so it provides just enough resistance to bring the plank back up. I'll trim little by little off with the scissors till it feels just right. That's getting really close. But I think we can afford to do one more cut. That feels much better. I think we'll catch the mice tonight with this one. Next, I'm going to attach the trap to the bucket lid using zip ties. That way the opossum can't tear this off. Hopefully these adjustments fix our problems. We'll catch more mice with the plank and won't get sabotaged by the opossum. Let's go set up the motion cameras for a second night and see if we get more mice, maybe a rat, and see if the opossum comes back. For night number two, we caught two more mice with the ploppinator trap. I still need to adjust it. There are quite a few mice that went up there and did not get dunked, and the rats didn't go down the tunnel. Now the opossum did come back as well. I'm going to call that opossum Big Mama. Opossums are the only North American marsupial, and she has a pouch on her belly full of babies. We'll keep watching her and see those babies grow. But the two mice have been in there all night. Right now they're playing dead, just like they did with the opossum. But I'm going to go set them free in the wild. We'll go ahead and release our first mouse. And the second one's hiding down here. I had a lot of fun testing out the Ploppinator. Not only does it have a great name, but with a few adjustments on the sensitivity, you could catch a ton of mice. Thank you so much to Matt for sending me this. If you want to check out Matt's book, The Bee with the Backward Stripes, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below. 
And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I have over 500 videos on YouTube. If you want to see the video where I caught all the mice in the bowl of oil, you can click right there. And I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and maybe get sabotaged by an opossum, stay tuned.